Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. If you guys are feeling like your coin isn't pumping enough because you're seeing all kinds of meme coins pump in the meantime, just remember this from XRPNews.Crypto here on Twitter. Crypto market gains are compensation for the pain and suffering. First comes the pain, then comes the money. XRP hodlers have been through a lot over the last few years, and um, you know, it might seem like a punch in the face when you're seeing these Shiba Inu type coins rally, or Dogecoin. I believe there's also a coin that uh, they're now calling Doge Elon, D-O-G-E-L-O-N. And it's getting ridiculous, right? The crypto space, um, you know, finding ways, finding more ways to suck in new money, immature retail traders, um, who are probably young and having a lot of fun with this until the party's over. And uh, believe you me, the party will be over sooner than they think. What we have to focus on is the prize, guys. XRP, we've been waiting a long time for this thing to move. And uh, yesterday we did see a bit of a move up for XRP. It did reach a high of almost $1.55 coming out of the 40s. Now it's slumped back into the 40s. $1.45 is what XRP is trading at, uh, at least at the time of this recording. Um, let me bring up a Fibonacci here. So throwing that on there. Um, we're just kind of still hovering, right? We still haven't made any new highs, getting rejected several times from the 702. Uh, the 0.786 is what we really have to get beyond, at least on the hourly time frame. but you guys can see zooming in here, these levels of the Fibonacci are getting a lot of resistance. So we saw it down here in the 0.5, uh, came up here all the way up to the 0.786. This is the 0.702 and we have seen XRP hit resistance several times here. Another one here, even though it didn't go all the way up, I would consider that one. Came back down to the 0.5, uh, came right back up here to the 0.618, now bouncing back down here to the 0.5. So we are seeing um, XRP just kind of moving sideways uh, within this channel. And, um, you know, there's nothing really to write home about at this moment in time. We do need to see XRP uh, break to the upside. It was great that yesterday we were seeing a positive green day on the market. How many of you guys, though, feel that, uh, boy... I just wanted to make some quick money and I wish I kind of just got into some meme coin to make a quick buck and then rotate those profits into XRP. Put it down in the comments if that's how you feel. I know sometimes it feels like a punch in the face, especially if you've been holding on to something for a very long time. And um, you know, you've been thinking to yourself, I'm making the right decisions. There are fundamentals around this coin. Uh, this isn't a meme coin. This coin has been around for uh, you know the better part of a decade now, yet we're still not seeing that movement for XRP uh, as we have for some other cryptocurrencies. Remember guys, the other thing we have to remember, XRP does move last and fast. And also remember this, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Nobody knew what meme coin was going to pump before it did and uh, that's what we have to look for we have to look for great entry points getting into xrp you know before the bull run began i know a lot of you guys have been following me since then so some of you guys are already in profit uh that's the point right we don't want to be chasing green candlesticks we want to be buying when the market is depressed and then selling when the market is high flare community here on twitter is uh addressing this thing apparently it still hasn't been rectified they actually uh, or rather, sorry, it's actually embarrassing. Surely CoinMarketCap social media team have come across the countless mentions of the obvious mistake. It makes me question their integrity and motives. Uh, we know from the Korea debacle, they've had an agenda in the past. And uh, I did a video yesterday on CoinMarketCap and how uh, Internet Computer had uh, briefly surpassed XRP in market cap. Um, I gave my opinions on what I think Binance is doing in Chengpeng Zhao. If you guys didn't catch that video, I'll link it up here in the top right hand corner. Apparently that still isn't rectified. It's also interesting here that they mentioned the Korea debacle. So uh, this person here from uh, who runs the Flare community Twitter account was definitely here back in 2017 when uh, it was coin market cap. At that time they weren't owned by Binance. Uh, however, something similar happened. They removed the Korean exchange numbers from the XRP listing, which actually brought the totals for XRP way further down on the list. Uh, Leonidas down here saying, I've also uh, sent a support ticket to which they replied. There was a data outage a few weeks back, which caused the CS for Ripple to be wiped out completely. A value was hard coded in the interim as a stopgap, and we have reverted to the original data source. So Leonidas here keeping on top of this. They are still retrieving data from an old source. So um, anyway, until that's rectified, I guess we have to deal with if you use CoinMarketCap, XRP market cap being listed incorrectly, at least for now. Um, 
Um, Michael at Val 5 Links posted this. So this surprised me. According to the top charts list on the Apple's App Store, Coinbase is currently the most popular app in the United States, ahead of TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Robinhood. So if this doesn't tell you guys something important, I don't know where your head's at right now. Let me go down here. Major cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase's mobile app now tops the charts for the US Apple App Store. According to the top charts list, Coinbase is ahead of all those apps that I just mentioned. A cash app, which allows users to send money and buy Bitcoin sits in the number 12 spot at the time of publication while Binance's and Trust's apps are 16 and 17 respectively. Coinbase's app has been near the top of Apple's App Store last month, often behind behind Robinhood in a number one position. However, since the company began trading its stock on the NASDAQ in April, attention from the public seemed to have risen, potentially leading to an increase in the number of desktop and mobile users. The crypto exchange has also since partnered with auction giant Sotheby's to facilitate crypto payments. Um, guys, the mania has begun and, um, you know, yes, we have seen crazy things in the crypto space thus far, but it still is not over. We still haven't really seen that huge knockback for Bitcoin uh, that we've been waiting for. Uh, and if I throw a Fibonacci, this is Bitcoin on the daily. If I throw a Fibonacci on here, and I'm just going to zoom in real quickly here. Bitcoin got up to the 0 0.702 right up here. And, um, you know, this is uh, what some would consider the retracement. Um, and so we're waiting. Will Bitcoin continue rallying to new all-time highs or will it make lower lows? This will essentially denote whether or not the cryptocurrency bull run is over, and, um, you know, for some, we're thinking to ourselves, what, that was it? A measly 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 percentage points? What happened to the 35,000 percentage gains that we saw in the 2017 bull run? Well, guys, this is why I'm thinking it's not over yet. Uh, of course, we still have to get confirmation, and uh, this is what we have to pay attention to. But anyway, I thought it was interesting that uh, Coinbase is now the most popular app download in the Apple Store. Uh, we've also got this guy's from Michael at Val5 Links. Everybody is getting into the game, so just another central bank, Israel's central bank, uh, considers issuing a digital shekel, which is uh, their version of a CBDC. So the central bank is to focus more efforts on CBDCs as a potential benefit to payments and the digital economy. They are readying an action plan so that they'll be prepared uh, should the benefits of issuing a national digital currency outweigh the costs of potential risks. Uh, they believe that CBDCs would allow a payment system that could adapt to the digital economy as well as create an efficient and inexpensive infrastructure for cross-border payments. Uh, the central bank further called for comments on its draft model, which it said does not represent any decision regarding the currency's characteristics, but is merely the basis for a discussion. Uh, and they've been discussing this since 2017, a CBDC in Israel. Many other countries obviously working on their CBDC. China is one of the biggest in that region and uh, um, so we're seeing a lot of countries in the Middle East, in uh, Southeast Asia, and Asia in general, we're seeing a lot of those countries really kind of uh, figuring out what they're going to be doing with CBDCs, I think, uh, in part because China is one of their biggest trading partners, and uh, we know what China's doing, and so we're seeing these other countries really uh, take a long, hard think about where they're going next. So just more development there for a revamped financial framework. Uh, also, guys, this from BitTrue, it's official casino coin, CSC is coming back to Bit true a lot of you have finished the csc swap to the xrpl already so it's time to get back to trading as usual on usdt xrp and btc pairs deposits will be open on may 13th which is tomorrow uh for those of you guys using BitTrue, um don't know if this is of interest to you i just thought i'd bring it up in case uh, i want to keep moving though guys this from matthew liny here on twitter i thought this was an interesting connection the google pay xrp connection now remember guys google ventures was a seed investor in ripple all right they were one of the big players that uh, funded Ripple right at the beginning. Google Ventures, uh, and I believe it was Anderson Horowitz and a couple of others. Uh, so there is a Google Ripple connection. Google Pay could become another liquidity network for the money remitters using XRP. And so here's just a screen grab here, uh, Google Ventures, a VC firm. But here's the interesting thing. This is new news. Google Pay enables US India money transfers. Now Google Pay users can send money to India, Singapore, so on and so forth. And Western Union and Wise announce integration with Google Pay. So we are seeing a move to India. Let's not forget guys, back in 2018, Ripple's VP of product, Ashish Birla, reckons that we have 50% of the Indian market. 
And at that time, he was talking about partnerships in India. In 2018, Ripple had 50% of the market share there. Fast forward three years, and I'm absolutely positive that number has grown. Well, speaking at a panel on scaling and digital disruption in fintech, the vice president of product at Ripple, Ashish Birla, suggested that Ripple could be having 50% of the Indian market. The company is focused on developing solutions for the financial sector. Uh, here is the quote. For those of you guys who were not here at that time, we looked early on at India and we looked at 2 billion people, a huge market, and we decided, how do you get 2 billion people onto Ripple? Do we give the currency away to every Indian? Uh, that's like 2 billion, just give it away. He went on to explain that was one idea, but then we realized that if you get the top three banks in India onto RippleNet, uh, you get 80% of the market share, and then we looked at, well, where's the future? And so we realized that in the next five years, 1 billion people will become banked in India and they'll be banked through their phones. So then we started targeting mobile phone providers and telcos. Again, guys, this was three years ago, and he was projecting five years into the future. And so now I think that in our pipeline, we have probably 50% of the market in India either integrated onto Ripple or in the deal. Um, and I, I keep wanting to say RippleNet, but at this time, uh, it was still X Current, X Rapid, uh, in the sort of pipeline to be signed to India. Um, and then so he went on to say, and guess what? We're going to take that back to Wells Fargo and we're going to say it's not a better way to send into India than Ripple. I think that that was misquoted. Uh, but basically, just to the point of this article from back in 2018, 50% of India. Now we are seeing uh, Google Pay emerge in India. Matthew L-I-N-Y with a keen eye noticing the Ripple Pay XRP connection. Very much a possibility. Uh, wanted to also mention this, guys. Free American Spear posted this on Twitter. Latest scam email going around. So, guys, just be careful if you do get an email uh, pretending to be Ripple, releasing 5 billion XRP into RippleNet quarter 1 and quarter 2 of 2021. Instructions for individual claims have just been published. So, um, you know, if they're ever sending you an email with a direct link, do not, do not, do not click. Ripple is not giving away XRP to anybody, and so uh, this could install some malware or scamware on your computer, and depending on where your cryptocurrency is, could actually hijack your cryptocurrency uh, and XRP, so uh, just wanted to let you guys know that. Be careful, guys, if you don't have your cryptocurrency in a cold storage solution, uh, then ultimately your cryptocurrency is at risk. I mean, even exchanges now uh, are prone to hacks. I keep my XRP in a Ledger Nano. I do have an affiliate link in the description of this video. If you want to use it, you can use it. You don't have to use it, though. Um, but, you know, I would suggest getting something just to keep your cryptocurrency safe, especially if you are expecting to see those huge gains. I mean, um, I'm seeing my portfolio going up. Of course, I've been in the space for a while. And, um, you know, it's just to have that peace of mind. All right. You want to have that peace of mind that your cryptocurrency is not going to be hacked. And uh, at any point, an exchange, their security can be breached. Have you guys noticed that support tickets from exchanges are taking a lot longer than they used to even a year ago or six months ago? Yeah, it's because they're congested. And so if something does happen to your cryptocurrency, um, you know, you're going to be waiting. And I know that's not a good feeling to have. Uh, so just wanted to thank uh, Free American Spirit for posting that. Also this, guys, from El Crypto King, Ripple partner SoftBank and Coinbase bet $26 million on crypto company launched by ex-Microsoft exec. So... According to Bloomberg, Coinbase Crypto Exchange and SoftBank Group, a major Ripple partner in Japan, have led a funding round for Brazilian asset management company Hashdex Gastora de Recursos, I think I'm saying that right, which is currently focusing on cryptocurrencies. So apart from SoftBank and Coinbase Ventures, the list of investors includes Valor Capital Group, uh, Global Ventures, Canary, and other companies. Hashdex emerged back in 2018, founded by former Microsoft executive Marcelo uh, Sampaio and Bruno Caratori. Uh, earlier in 2021, the company rolled out Hashdex NASDAQ Crypto Index Fundo de Endiso, Index of Funds, or I guess that's the Italian translation. <laughs> I don't speak Italian, but I'm just uh, assuming that. Uh, it was their first crypto ETF in Brazil. I'm sorry, did I say Italian? I meant Portuguese. Um, they now plan to set up more new offices beyond Brazil and to expand their staff from 25 to 100 people at the moment. So another Ripple partner here uh, teaming up with Coinbase to launch a crypto-based fund in Brazil. Uh, wanted to thank El Crypto King for posting that. And the big story today, guys, is from DJ Peter Vass, Ripple's partner Accenture, writes papers with Swift on CBDCs. Um, you know, it has been known for a while now that Ripple is in direct competition with Swift. We also have known, though, 
that Ripple and Accenture, they're buddy-buddy, they're tight, and Accenture has been making waves in the crypto sphere, especially with regards to central banks and developing CBDC projects. So what is this all about? Ripple's partner Accenture, the innovation and service consulting company has actually released a paper with Swift on the capacity for reserve bank digital currency payment services. Titled Exploring Central Bank Digital Currencies, How They Could Work for International Payments, the paper declares that there is a rising interest for these kinds of properties. Accenture is a Fortune Global 500 business alongside Ripple, BMW, Bosch, Blockchain Acceleration Foundation, uh, and many others. Accenture becomes part of the Mobility Open Blockchain Initiative. According to the file, a minimum of half of the world's reserve banks prepare to establish CBDCs. So here's the meat and potatoes. Three primary aspects added to this pattern to minimize physical notes, counter the result of uh, personal cryptocurrencies as a risk to fiat, and enhance security throughout wholesale markets. The paper states... Whatever the inspiration, the momentum towards CBDCs appears clear and growing. Some reserve banks are currently performing live experiments, and the capacity for currency advancement is being framed by some as a possible transformation in how worth is exchanged. Two extra factors uh, for the increase in interest around CBDCs are the possible drive for monetary addition for less industrialized markets, as the paper declares, and to allow payment developments. The existing patterns recommend led Accenture and Swift to make four presumptions. First, there is a high possibility that CBDCs will be released by many central banks, uh, both locally and abroad. Thus, these properties might enhance a brand new economy based upon digital deals. A decrease in fiat financial supply, a banking organization might have more control over the liquidity in their monetary system. In addition, the circulation of these kinds of properties might be under more control of authorized organizations. They might utilize tokens or digital wallets to offer users with accounts. And this article here from Crypto Press is also mentioning Ripple, even though Ripple, not directly at least, had nothing to do with this paper. The paper declares that industrial banks might have a significant function as companies of CBDCs for their customers. Conversely, these properties will require to have two crucial attributes, facilities and interoperability for cross-border payments and other usage cases. The paper declares the following with possible space to use among Ripple's XRP-based services. The idea of CBDCs moving cross-border is complex. It is technically possible with different innovations. However, the significance and use of a CBDC outside its native jurisdiction is uncertain. To be useful, some type of interchange system with regional currency needs to exist. What will be needed is a multilateral interchange system that makes it possible for payments to be made end-to-end -end in a smooth type. They note down here that uh, Wrath of Kahneman actually mentioned Accenture plainly has numerous relationships with a multitude of companies. The particular thing here is that there is terrific interest in the crossway of cross-border deals and CBDCs. Let me go back to early 2020 and uh, just remind you guys of this tweet thread from I Am Legion. In this tweet thread, for those of you guys who do not remember, he mentions all the partnerships, all the connections uh, with Accenture and Ripple. So in 2015, of course, Accenture enters into an alliance alliance with Ripple, and that is basically the beginning. By 2016, Swift and Accenture outline a path to distributed ledger technology adoption within the financial services. So uh, this Swift and Accenture thing is nothing new. It dates back to 2016. By 2017, let's not forget, Accenture entered into an alliance with R3 and is a preferred implementation provider for its Corda platform. Uh, also over here, guys, Accenture and Ripple partnering up the journey to real-time cross-border commercial payments using DLT technology. Some more information here, global trade runs at about $24 trillion per year. This is not going to migrate uh, to a new commercial payments network overnight or even over five years. And the degree of migration will be dependent on competition from other alternatives. Uh, let me just go down here real quick. DLT has a long way to go before it's ready to support trillions of dollars in payments uh, per year, but it is ready now to form the base of a new cross-border commercial payment network at manageable volumes that could eventually reach this size. So this again from a document co-authored by Accenture and Ripple talking about DLT technology specifically within cross-border payments. More connections here, Accenture and Temenos. We also know that Temenos is Ripple enabled, but Accenture is a global certified partner of Temenos. Accenture plans to strengthen its ability to support Temenos' core banking software and wealth management implementations and support clients looking to consolidate their systems using the Temenos software suite. Uh, let's go over here with Hyperledger. Accenture is a premier member of Hyperledger, an open 
open source collaborative effort created to advance cross industry blockchain technologies and sits on its board of directors. Down here, guys, DTCC announces study results demonstrating that DTL can support trading volumes in the US equity markets. This from October 2018. The study, which was conducted by Accenture with additional support provided by Technology Services, Digital Assets, DA, and R3, proved that DLT can perform at levels necessary to process an entire trading day's volume at peak rates. Uh, I'm just going over the highlights, but uh, you know, there's all kinds of great information here. Wonder what all this means. Okay, then there's the central bank connections. Sweden to test eKrona central digital bank currency on Corda blockchain. This with Accenture. I also have the article up here for those of you guys, and I will link it in the description. This back from uh, December of 2019. More central bank connections to Accenture, and therefore Ripple, the Bank of Canada, Bank of England, and the Monetary Authority of Singapore, cross-border interbank payments and settlements uh, from November of 2018. Also, we have the Project Jasper Ubin design paper here, powered by Accenture. We know these guys are utilizing RippleNet in this case. Uh, and also over here, Project uh, Ubin Phase 2, powered by Accenture. So it is no secret that these guys are a heavy hitter in the space. Some more down here with regards to Project Ubin. And uh, over here, new interoperability solution. Accenture connects Hyperledger, Fabric, Corda, Quorum, and DA. Consulting giant Accenture developed a two-way solution to transform enormous potential of existing distributed ledger platforms into a synchronized business process. So then I got to go back to this and I got to think to myself, has Swift finally decided to give up the fight against Ripple and, uh, you know, just go with the flow, be part of the solution. I mean, there's enough business to go around. I mean, they had a monopoly for such a long time and uh, now there's just better technology that is coming out. Swift and Accenture specifically drawing up this paper. Of course, there is a need for a cross-border solution as it mentions down here and a multilateral interchange system that makes it possible for payments to be made end-to-end -end in a very smooth way. This to me sounds like they want to leverage something like XRP to source for that liquidity. Of course, this is a paper on CBDCs, but we know there is not going Going to be enough liquidity especially in those exotic corridors for this kind of thing to take place so is RippleNet the solution that they're going to use and has swift finally conceded it certainly is looking that way but i want to hear what you guys think please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like the video if you like the content i'm providing i always love hearing your comments see you in the next one guys